corned beef. It always reminds me of my gran. She loved it and she would cook it for us. And usually you need to boil this long and slow, but in the Turbo Cuisine Maxi, I'm gonna show you, you can cook this in 40 minutes as opposed to an hour and a half to two hours. So first of all, you need to get yourself a beautiful piece of corned beef. Essentially, it is salt cured beef. The word corned just means that it has been salted. So you need to prepare this the day before. I like to soak my corned beef in loads of water, even change the water a few times because it is very salty. To cook this in the big pot of the Turbo Cuisine Maxi, I've got two carrots, so two whole carrots, along with two big Desiree potatoes and one whole onion that I've pierced with four cloves. Now you may think, what are the cloves going to do to this? But it does really flavour the corned beef, so I highly recommend it. So in to the bowl, along with some herbs, a big bunch of thyme and bay leaves. We'll pop them in, just spread them out. And then our corned beef. So we've drained that from the liquid, in it goes, and that can just sit quite snug between all our veggies. We need some peppercorns, just leave them whole, they can go in. And just for a little sweetness, this is what my gran used to do, she would add a tablespoon of honey. That's all it takes just to balance it out slightly. You could also add some sugar if you like. This now needs to be covered with some cold water and that's the perfect amount. And I am serving this with a delicious white sauce, a parsley white sauce. So instead of throwing out these stalks, what I recommend is just breaking them off. We'll put that in our sauce and these can just go straight in again, just to flavor our gorgeous corned beef. So we need to lock and load our Turbo Cuisine Maxi. Close that and we're going to set it to the pressure function. We're going to cook that for 40 minutes. And that's all we need to do. It's all about setting and forgetting. And in the meantime, we can make a very quick sauce. So into a pot, we need to melt some butter and add some flour to make a roux. So I'm gonna say about 40 to 50 grams of butter. We'll cut that and just allow it to melt in a pot. You don't want the pot to be too hot. If it's too hot, it's gonna burn that butter. We just want it to gently melt away. So we'll cut that into four pieces, give it a bit of a helping hand. In it goes. And just let that melt and become foamy and we can add our flour. So same amount of flour to butter. You don't wanna be adding more. We'll give that a whisk. And I've just turned that down, not too hot. And once that starts to incorporate and you want to cook off that flour, just like any white sauce you're doing, we can start adding our milk. So little by little, we're going to add our milk. And then once there are no lumps and it starts to thin out, then you want to bring it up to the boil, keep whisking it until it becomes thick and glossy. Once that's thick and glossy, we add some salt, some parsley and nutmeg. Right, I've safely released the pressure. So the moment of truth, which is having a look at this beautiful corned beef. Oh, that smell, so nostalgic. And the proof is in the corned beef. Have a look how soft and tender it is. You don't want it to be crumbling apart like you could just pull it apart with some forks. You actually still want to slice this. So be sure not to overcook it. 40 minutes is just perfect. So meat comes out first, some of the veggies. So we've got our carrot and this one giant potato. You can imagine how much flavour is in that potato from that natural stock that we've made. So this is delicious as is, but I love to add some silver beet or some Swiss chard. My grandmother would grow loads of this all year round and she would serve it with it. So I'm going to just take a few of these leaves. Uh, you can also use the stalks so we can just add them this is so hot in here, so I'm just going to wilt it just gently for a few moments while we carve our meat. So in that goes and just submerge it in that stock 
and just get a little heat into it. I don't want to overcook that at all. Okay, to slice this glorious piece of meat, you can see that the fibres of the meat are going this way. So we don't want to carve with the grain, we want to carve against the grain. So we want to slice it this way. So nice thick slices and have a look. This is old school cooking at its best, country cooking, food that never goes out of fashion, to me anyway. And I just think if you have this, when the winter time comes along, it's just so special. So this potato, way too big for one person. So let's cut that into a few chunks. And our carrot also. I mean, it's just like butter. We'll cut that on an angle. And to plate up, let's start with this potato, a little wedge on the plate, a few slices of carrot, a few slices of corned beef. Oh. And don't forget our gorgeous Swiss chard. It's wilted. Just going to add a few of these leaves. Still vibrant green on the side there. You can add a little of this stock depending on how salty it is, but because I did soak this overnight, it's actually become quite a nice broth. So just a few spoonfuls over the meat. And our parsley sauce, lovely and thick, just a nice generous dollop on the top. Good old classic corned beef. Instead of taking two hours, sometimes even longer, that whole dish is done in 40 minutes.